Hello all, we are here to solve previous slide 8 questions. So, this question is from manufacturing. The question is which of the following additive manufacturing technique or techniques can use a wire as a feedstock material? So, here are various uh, additive manufacturing processes mentioned in the option. So, let us first see what are these uh, different uh, additive manufacturing processes. Right. Then you will decide in which of this uh, this feedstock material can be wired. So let us see one by one stereolithography. So as you can see in this uh, given figure, stereolithography is a process in which uh, we have that uh, liquid photopolymer, right? So, this uh, liquid photopolymer will be uh, uh, undergo this abrasive beam in a layer by layer manner, and this uh, actually, wherever this abrasive beam is going to strike the uh, part of a particular layer, that will be uh, uh, what we can say is uh, solidified and it will be then uh, construct the final product. Right, so basically, this is layer by layer uh, additive manufacturing process. Right, so here uh, this wire uh, feedstock cannot be used in this uh, stereolithography process. So, now let us go to the next option that is fuse deposition uh, uh, modeling. Right, so in this, as you can see here. Uh, in this uh, FTM, we will have this uh, 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 what we can say uh, wire as a feed strip material. This wire will pass through the hot roller and it will then be deposited as semi solid on the platform. And then uh, you will have some final product. So as you can see here, it is mentioned right in this uh, expanded view. Right so here, you are having this uh, rings, right? So exclusion rings are there, right? So that the uh, wire material is going to pass through this uh, liquefier, so it will be connected to the semi-solid, uh, and then it will be deposited on the platform. So here in FPM this feed stroke can be uh, in wire form right as you can see here this material spool is there and from that wire is coming right so in FDM this wire form can be used right. so let us see the other two selective laser sintering is the next so in selective laser sintering as you can see it will be a powder bed as it is mentioned here and then on that laser will be uh, imparted and then it will be partially fused or it will be fused, fused deposition and it will take place so or sintering will take place right so here this uh, uh, it is again a powder based uh, this uh, feed stroke so here also this uh, wire feed stroke is not possible in this SLS setup as we can see right and the last one is this uh, direct energy deposition so here in the figure as you can see this wire feeder is there again in this direct energy deposition and then this uh, wire is fielded and then electron beam is going to be imparted on that particular wire so that it will be liquefied and then it will be again solidified right so this is how you are given that direction of part motion right and how your this uh, this electron beam is going to uh, convert that wire into liquid and then again it will be solidified so this is how in this uh, direct energy deposition uh, this wire can be used as feedstock material so as you can see from this particular options, as we have seen based on what we have seen, uh, this uh, fused deposition modeling 
and the direct line between the process can use wire as a field state material. Okay. So thank you.